that I want to add uh, to the topics that they're wanting me to bring through is, you know, reliance and reliance on things that are easy, reliance on convenience, things like that, because like when we start relying on that, we are relying on others. And then in the process of that, you know, we tend to forget how to do things. And it's like, ugh, you know, and then we kind of feel in chaos when we don't have the resources and the ability to do it for ourselves. And so it's kind of decapitating for us in these situations when it comes up like this for like instance, you know, a lot of people will want food deliveries or people to shop for them. You know, these are necessities. These are essentials to life for thriving, surviving, nurturing, maternal instincts, things like that of the body, of the mind, of the spirits in our everyday living life situations. And when we are navigating life, it's important to do these things, not just for ourselves. And although they bring convenience to our lives, our busy, busy lives, and can be helpful, we navigate away from them and we forget the existence of them and how they are and they show up for us in order to do the things that we need to do for ourselves. It's part of the evolution that we've created in order to be sustaining as a human race. And from that point of view, when we are no longer able to do that for ourselves, then where are we? What are we doing, right? And so to have these conveniences are good, but not to replace, but in place where we can navigate still the world from a point of view where we can do it for ourselves. Because when we get caught up in that rat, rat, rat race, we can navigate away from ourselves by the you know influence of conveniences. Oh, this does this for you, and this does this for you. And that's the world that we're going into. And so from that point of view, when it all kind of comes down, like the crystal 15 minute cities that they're creating, when that comes down, where are you? What is it that they're trying to do in navigating towards these crystal 15 minute cities? And it, not to be conspiracy <laughs> theorist here, but to really take a look at it, Yes, all the conveniences are there for you. It's a natural instinct to want that to be easier and better for you in those ways, in those conditions, when we set that upon ourselves, but it's the conditions that we set upon ourselves that we are wanting those. So it's the condition that we create in our own lives, the chaotic space, the awareness that I can't do it all, but I need to do it all, you know, that creates space for the convenience. And that's why people create conveniences for us to have and to implement into our lives. But in that creation, it takes us away from everyday life, survival, purpose, intention, creating, manifesting, living a life from the present moment and allowing that to escape us from the existence and the appearance of what is now in the moment, the experience of that, having it uh, to have that for ourselves, the experience of doing it with our hands. And with you know AI coming in, the experience of that, expanding a lot of stuff, you know, we want to, you know, utilize it, but in a way that we are being careful <laughs> to a certain point so we don't extravagate uh, it and make it powerful, more powerful than us is what they're sharing for us. And so in that way of manifesting and navigating that is being present in your life and what is in, what is it that we're doing and what are we using in place of our own lives and our systems that we have that's been created naturally for us, our instincts to get food, to get water, to get these things and not relying on other people, which we've been doing for eons and eons. And as we are continuing to go grow with these cities and the expansion of this, uh, AI and the 15 minute cities, which they're implementing all over the place, everywhere, um, across the board, <laughs> not just certain areas. Um, they're going to be popping up more and more everywhere. And so, with that being said, you know, that can be a very controlled situation, you know, for a lot of people if you're going to go in that direction. 
right? And not to be fear mongering or anything like that, but to be in awareness that these conveniences take us out of our situations, which we are prepared to do on our own, which been created from the beginning of time. It's the awareness of that that was needed, that was implemented like for a reason is our existence in survival and being able to do things on our own and not have these conveniences. And so I uh, don't get me wrong, it's not a bad thing. It's just implementing them where you're really needing them and not relying on them for everything. <laughs> we wanna have a nice healthy balance uh, with those situations. And when we can do that, we can find harmony in life with all things and have that natural balance and existence to know that we don't forget things, right? It's, it's kind of built in, but to remember in the delusion, the illusion of an experience that's coming arising that's chaotic, you know, we tend to start freaking out, which keeps us disconnected again from the point of view. So there's a lot of things to kind of really look at this situation from, uh, you know, I'm getting to not only for myself, but to share this information to contemplate on in the awareness of it is where we're going, the actions that are being taken right now is upon you because it is your choice whether you engage with it or not. And you have a right to say no or yes um, in those situations, in those scenarios. Um, and I, they keep bringing me back to the image of, you know, Whole Foods has been shut down for I don't know how many days and they're just now reopening. And then, but then they have people who do your shopping. They have people who do like your delivery. They have people who do all these certain things. You're disconnecting from certain situations in life that is demanding of you to do in preparation for yourself to have a long, healthy life. You're allowing that to be somebody else's decision for you, right? we're not taking our time to connect with our food is this good for me is this not we're having other people pick it out for us and generally when we have that there's a disconnect because they're not picking out what is right for you is picking they're picking out what's right for them in the scenarios that they're choosing what they're choosing to have and to bring to you and although it may look good, it may not always result good for you. And although you're choosing it because you're ordering it, you know, they're actually picking out the certain foods and it by touch and feeling and seeing and what is, okay, I'm just gonna go get this and grab this and put this in the cart and ship it off to her, right? We're disconnecting from the natural origin of what we're creating from that point of view when we're doing that. We're not allowing ourselves to be the person in the play in the role with that dynamic per se in that perspective because all food has an energy all food has a vibration all food has this energy system and connection that draws you to it for a reason and when we're disconnecting through apps uh you know a certain situation letting people other handle our food letting other people do things we're kind of allowing that to kind of go to the wayside and we, we say, well, hey, we need to connect to these things, right? These are things that we need to still connect to and be a part of it in our everyday lives. And having that understanding is magnitude um, based on where they're saying that we're coming from uh, with that, because it's gonna help us in the future to know that we're navigating away from certain things that are still needed, that are, uh, put there for a reason, the evolution of the, the form, the, the soul and human, where we've come from, which was, you know, doing everything for ourselves, gardening, you know, weeding, things like that, uh, using medicinal, we've come a long way far from doing that. And it incapitates us, decapitates us <laughs> from being able to do it for ourselves. Look at our medicine, right? Look at our uh, health, uh, we've come a long way from that and with the way that we're going we're going to be going much further away from that um, and encapsulating you know other things along with it which brings us back to the you know the suffering of our human being you know of who we are the person uh, that we are engaging with um, from this point of view in this this human version of ourselves and although we may think of it as futile and we have this um, system going in place it takes us away from doing it ourselves and then we don't remember how to do it so it's important to 
um, and they use encapsulates a lot um, to encapsulate the uh, situations that we're going to be moving into and forward uh, from this point in time, uh, which can help to regulate the systems more better in our bodies, our minds, and our spirits, allowing us to have the chance to I don't want to say like survive, but to have the understanding and knowing of the human consciousness, the race uh, that is being put in place now can be, they're saying, the destruction of evolution of the human race, which is a construct from that point of view. And its existence is based on and dependent on living and thriving for our true selves, not some system that's been put in place of evolution and though i'm not one for putting this type of stuff on my videos and my channel or fear-based situations but it's something that they're feeling deeply about that they're wanting to share that we need to still encapsulate and keep these things in place right and so to move through the future uh, we do want to keep those things in balance in place uh, what is to come because the future is actually now it's happening right now as we speak in the moment of certain things being put in place that we are not aware of but those who are doing it are aware of it <laughs> bringing that in here for you to have at a certain point in time when they unveil it and they bring it forward for you in that consciousness in that space and in that understanding that awareness you know what they're bringing to you is for you to help you to navigate the world better but in its replacement of and not in conjunction with it can be very devastating and so the motion to it feeling of it freedom oh i, I can do this well this is happening and they can bring me my food or whatever the situation may be the convenience of whatever that situation may be to have it done for you instead of you doing it is crippling you actually in the process of doing that. And so understanding that where were they were coming from in that point of view to share that with you from a heartfelt space and reality that you're changing the face of humanity by replacing certain things and situations with what you're doing, <laughs> right? And so what you're doing can change the face of human race. And it can potentially wipe it out. And so from that point of view, we want to understand where we're coming from on the higher level of consciousness that we're seeing it in the direction that it's now going, right? And so it is taking a turn. What I'm getting is for the worse, but also for the better, <laughs> right? But and it can be a destruction, but at the same time, you know, we want to be able to put it into a place where it's navigating better from a higher perspective and understanding of who we truly are and diving deeper into the existence of what is going on here because this has been manufactured here for a whole reason and purpose of being in this existence and this awareness on the highest level of form that it is conditioned to do. And we can do it all for ourselves but we can let it do it for us, right? And so as a matter of fact, the being manufactured, right? The perspective for reality, which is changing the face of America here at this time in this place. But what we're doing is manufacturing a, a fabricated illusion, a delusion that's surfacing now with the experience of convenience and having things done for us and not the natural, um, natural, um, I just lost the word that they were saying, the natural ability uh, to do it, but, and then to replace, right? So to replace, but not to do it for ourselves. So the experience and existence of that is the reality that we're going to be showing up for us here soon. Um, and so let's take a look at that as we're moving forward in the consciousness that we're holding, the space that we're holding, and what is it that we're really wanting and si finding out why we are coming to this place in the moment, finding authenticity, and why we need to look at what is really more important, right? And so a lot of this destruction is part of that. It's being on point with who we truly are and what we're doing, what we're creating in the existence and why we're doing it.
not just do it because it's convenient. It's going to help you to get through the rat race so you can work and, you know, throw your life more to the rat race, right? Because the more conveniences you put there in the place of you doing it yourself, consciously, presently, you're losing your disconnection. But at the same point, you're giving your power away. And then from that point of view, you're in existence where, you know, what do you do? <laughs> You know, and it's just kind of really looking at it from that point of view and without really going down any rabbit holes or, you know, being in conspiracy. It's a fact. It's something that can actually happen um, if we're not on point, uh, which they're saying, on point, and bringing that into manufacturing uh, of our own existence of who truly are, where we are, what we're doing, because existence of what was was important for what we are now and where we are is going to be important for where we're going in the future. And so what we're doing now and the choices that we're making is going to create future existence of who we are and what we look like and what we're going to be eons from now in that existence of reality, what we're going to experience and have as existence of the human form. And that is uh, its own presence, which is what we're bringing to you. So you can have this understanding now so you can look back at that so you have the understanding of what we're meaning. Right. And so with the fact that we bring it now, you can see later in the aftermath <laughs> of what's going on. And it's all in creation, right? Because what was is going is now and what is now is going to be later. And so it's creating itself in its evolution of itself being present and evolving from that point of view, what you're doing, what you're taking, and what you're presuming to do, you know, in your life and allowing that to come to you for you in a, in a good way, you know, not a harmful way. And so looking at the presence of who we are, the sustainable and subsistence of what we're creating, the reality that we want to have in the present moment today. Now, yesterday or tomorrow, although it is affected by the timeline in the present moment, we want to look at what is it that we really want now in the moment? Do we want to have the presence of lack of everything and not being able to navigate our lives from the point of view because we're living and putting ourselves in these situations that you know we are losing all direct contact connection or contact with the things around us and that is pretty much where we're headed you know in this time frame at the moment and although it can change it can bring about a lot of devastation for a lot of people when you're starting to rely on the conveniences so kind of just wanted to add that there they kind of put that <laughs> for me to add to this video um, but I might actually do a little separate video on this specifically for you but it's the timeline that we're in that we're having this awareness that we're bringing it to you for the for the view of all those who are viewing it in the moment to have a constant a conscious contemplation <laughs> about it in the realization of our existence, of where we are now uh, moving forward. The existence of ourselves is, does matter. Well, what we're doing, what we're choosing, what we're playing and participating in. And when you participate in something, you're allowing it, right? So existence of, you know, things that are harmful, like, of course, you know, soda, <laughs> you know, and not to be down on soda, we enjoy it and, and it's okay, we enjoy it, but when we are, drinking gallons of soda. What are we doing to our bodies, our mind, our spirit? What's in that soda? What is creating our health issues, right? I used to drink, I used to go through like, go to the store before my awakening. I was in that place, you know, I drank Pepsi, Coke, you know, it, uh, went and bought like those 12 packs, two to three for the week. I was doing it. And then when I had my awakening, I was like, oh my God, something just started telling me to stop doing that, you know, and my path had started shifting, you know, I was being led little by little to change my actions, what I was doing was participating in. But the, the point is when we are engaging in certain things and we are allowing it to continue by doing it and buying their products that are, we know is unhealthy, but we're still doing it. It's, uh, it's a creation of something that we're not, but we're still doing it yet, <laughs> participating in it by doing it. And the only way that we can make a difference is by not engaging in it. Right? And when we, and I did a video on that, you know, when you 
um, don't want something, you know, like right now, the existence of where we are right now is just because we are continuing to participate in it, like the governments, right, the voting systems, the school systems, right, we're still engaging in it, although we are upset and unhappy about it, we don't want it, but we're still engaging in it, and so it keeps it going. You're adding energy to it, and so as long as you are participating in it, they're going to keep feeding it, and they're going to keep doing it, and they're going to keep being in that space of power over what your children learn, what your children get, what they receive, what they're tested on, and what they're perceiving, right? And so unless you start taking control of your life and allow yourself to be the one that's connected and involved in all things and stop relying on conveniences, you're, you'll have a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Because if you're like this Milton, right? And this is a great example because we rely so heavily on the conveniences of electricity, of, you know, internet and food being there for us. And so we're stuck when we don't have those. What are those people going to do that are so reliant on the convenience that they're having their food delivered, or they just have to pull up and have somebody put it in their trunk and they drive away. You don't have that because now you have to go back and start doing it yourself. And that can be a struggle that can be suffering for a lot of people. If they've allowed that to just be non-existence in their lives anymore, right? You're taking yourself out of situations that are creating suffering and struggle for yourself and your life without being dependent and reliant upon yourself. And that's the topic that they're wanting to share is don't give it all up. <laughs> don't give your power away. Don't be in existence where you aren't able to have what you need in certain situations in life. And although even in my own life, right, minimalists, right, so I, I am part of it too just in a different way, I don't have the preparedness, right? But again, even if I was to go get extension cords, I'm still reliant on them for power. How can we live in this existence and not be reliant on somebody else? How can we get back to our true nature in the existence of what was? Not saying that we have to live in poverty or, you know, slave in our, um, like have farms and, and slave out there growing our own food all the time if it's not something that we're passionate about but don't cut yourself off from that have instead of having a nice looking garden you know have a food garden uh do both have part of it you, you can have plants and flowers you know food in a culture permaculture what they call it you know engaging and working together a whole system and just have that so when things do like this arise you still have the ability you're not taking, you know, and out of control in these situations that are being brought to you. And a lot of the destruction going on is part of the rebuilding. And so rebuilding is part of the crystal 15 minute cities and a lot of other things that are going to be happening. And again, they are happening as we speak. And although you don't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. And so I'm not being in the conspiracy and I don't follow a lot of people who are doing that and I don't go down those rabbit holes, but this is the message that I'm getting. And so I am sharing it because that is what I'm, I'm speaking, what I'm receiving. And I trust in what they're saying. Um, and ever since my awakening, I've just been listening to everything and I've never, what they've given to me has never been incorrect or inaccurate. So I do want to share this with you, and I'm hoping that this is going to be helpful for you because I felt this all during Hurricane Milton, that something here is just not right. I've been having the feeling, it's even on my Facebook, something's not right, something's going on here, and it doesn't feel good in the situation. And then we had Milton arise, and then all through that, I've been getting information on how you know, like, this is a great time that they're going to stimulate economy, um, they're going to do, uh, there's a lot of things, and they're implementing things as we are, have been evacuating and coming back in as they are momentumly, is the word they're using, uh, doing the things that they're doing in order to get ready and prepare. So they're preparing to prepare for that situation and those evacuations ahead of time. And so I, they know they're taking the situation is arising, so they're taking advantage of the situation to implement and set these things into place for the future. Okay. So an escapade of that, I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> um, you know, just, just be present, 
you know, uh, take a look at that. And I'm, I'm having this recorded, so that's great because now I can look back in the, in the, from the future and see, you know, what I've posted here. So, which I always like to do is check on my accuracy of the information that I'm receiving. And so far it has been. So I'm just sharing that with you and hopefully that helps and just be present, you know, being conscious and aware of what you're actually doing, what you're participating in, the conveniences, and what is the action, uh, the result of that's going to be. Okay. And I am sweating because again, there is no electricity. I just have a fan and it's hot. It's Florida. And so um, I'm going to probably end that here. And with the channeling, you know, it does get pretty hot. So. All right, hopefully that helps. So I just want to kind of add that clip in here. Uh, and so I don't know if I'm going to put this in a separate video or uh, add it to the other video, but that's going to be a long one. So I may do a separate one. And sorry, I'm just going to rambling now. All right, well, I've shared what I had to share and what they wanted me to share. And so if you have any questions, drop those below. If you I do coaching sessions, things like that, readings. Um, and we do body mapping, so shamanic healing work. If you're interested in any of that, uh, life review, uh, we do. I do do that for you. We do uh, because they are there helping. We do uh, life review sessions to help you navigate your life, transform, heal, looking at different things like that as well. All right, happy journeys.